Okay, for this example of Audacity, I'm going to show you an actual project that I work on. It's a podcast called the Mental Health Comedy Podcast. And what you're looking at here is a template that I have created and it's in stock. So every time I have a new episode to do, I don't have to pull in all the music and all the effects. They are already here. And as you can see, there's multiple tracks here. So I, I dragged and dropped all of these tracks into this, saved it as my template for that show, and it sits there in a folder. And every time I have to do a new podcast episode, boom, the first thing I do is pull open this folder. Now, you can see that these tracks are shortened there. That is just a simple down arrow to get those to the default full size. I could actually resize them this way. I don't. Let me back out of that. I just use these. I toggle them up and down. Now, the other thing to notice here is that all of these tracks are grayed out. That's because they are all muted right now. If I open them, you'll see they are all muted. I can unmute, and now I can play that track. I'll zoom in a little bit. And you see I've already got the fade in there and everything. So that's the intro music for this ep for this podcast series. And I can unmute the other tracks. And let me just mute this one so I don't have to move it. This is another music bed that Ed uses for a spot that he calls shoutouts. Now, you can see that this track is called Shoutouts. How did I do that? And it's called Shoutouts here, too. There's two different ways to name the tracks. One is to drop this down here and hit Name. And a dialog box opens. And this is the opening bed. So I called it Open Bed. That's the opening music bed for the show. And over here, it's called Shoutouts. Now... You can also, new feature in Audacity, is grab this top bar here and double click in there. And we can also name the track here. So we'll call it Open Bed. And I hit Enter and boom, I've got, now I can have it labeled here as well, which I think is visually helpful. This is another one now to show you that I don't necessarily have to go and mute this and then unmute this one if this was if these both were uh live and you could listen to them i could just hit solo here and it will mute the other two and give me a solo here and this is just another music bed that ed uses in this uh funny sponsor bit that he does every time it's hilarious but this is this really cool jazz bed that he plays underneath that so these are all movable right Remember, you just grab here and you can move these around and scroll out, take a look. So the next thing we got, and these are all other effects down here. There's uh, timpani roll and there's drum rolls and there's uh, news theme music and stuff like that if I ever need it for any part of the production. The next thing I do now is when Ed is finished recording with his guests, there's usually he and a co-host and a guest, he sends me three files, each with an individual on that track, which makes editing much, much better. So let's go over there and let's take a look. This is an episode that he did. And here is Ed, there's Jennifer, and there's Sam. So I'm going to take these three files. Oh, I wonder if I can put them on the stack all at once and dump them in all at once. Let's give it a try. So I dragged those three files all at once. And I got one. Ooh, it's working. Two. And three. Beautiful. There they are. Okay, they should be all lined up, hopefully. Uh, sometimes there's a glitch on the other side, and you have to line them up. This one looks like I might have to line that up. Uh, we'll find out when we get up top. Now, I don't want these down here, and I don't want these. I'm going to... I'm gonna, collapse these so they got more real estate on my user interface to work on this now 
This one is, I can see he did this in, looks like he recorded this in Zoom. This look, these look like Zoom files. So we'll just call this one Sam. We'll throw that one up to the top. Move track to top. Boom, that went up. And this is Jennifer. So I will name this one Jennifer. And we'll move her up to the top. And then we'll call this one Ed. And we'll move him on. I, I typically like to put Ed at the top. It's just my editing preference. So let's see where he starts. Well, everybody. There it hello. is. Hello. <laughs> okay, so now I've got to bring in the opening bed here. Now, here's something really cool. I could go in here and move this to the top, but I'm going to grab this area and I'm going to drag it up. So I just dragged it right up to the top there. Now I'm going to unmute that and I'm going to play it. Well, everybody. That's a little off. So this has to come. Let's drill in here using the zoom in feature. And I am going to pull this out to here so that the music drops just as Ed starts talking. Well, everybody. There we go. Nice, huh? And then I'm going to pull this out, and that should line up. That should synchronize Jennifer's track. And as I said before, I think Sam is a problem. Uh, start <laughs> well, if you mentioned that, I might have to bring them back out for a second. <laughs> yeah, he's in the wrong spot for sure. There must have been a glitch. So, and by my eye, it looks like he's way out here. I, I'll have to, uh, I won't deal with that right now. I'll show you where Jennifer comes in. Jennifer, um, this is our last show before our break. So, yes. how are you doing? And uh, what is happening in your, what kind of a summer is it going to be for you? Well, hopefully I'm going to take some time. Okay, so that's lined up. That's synchronized. I'm going to stop here, and when I come back, we're going to run noise reduction, compressor, limiter, those types of things, and we'll try to get Sam in line. So that's it for this one.